Today, let's talk about the Pico. Yes, people, what's good and welcome back to the channel. Right, guys, so a few small updates about the Pico. Firstly, the anemone has moved from the rockwork and it's gone onto the glass. Now, there's a reason why the anemone has gone there. What I did was I literally took off the piece of rock that the anemone was stuck on and it found itself um, at the back of the aquascape. And uh, now due to not getting enough light, the enemy has moved to this position. Now this is perfect for me because I've done some modifications to the aquascape and the corals in this tank as you can see in the lower right hand corner. So right guys, if you have been following the channel, you guys will remember what the Pico looked like back in the day. This is what it looked like back in the day. The Pico looked wicked, like everything just looked on point. The Zoas, everything just looked really nice. Even the enemy in that little corner looked really well. Now. There are a few things that I did try. I tried the SPS route. Now, due to neglect and other issues, those things just weren't doing too well. So what I did was I actually said, you know what, rather than me trying to bring back the SPS and struggle with that and, you know, it was just a headache. So what I did was I removed the SPS and I started to just go back to basics with this tank. Now, over the last couple of weeks, I have done certain things to it and it has improved greatly. First off, I've cleaned the sand bed. Yeah, there's no more like Zoa garden or anything like that. That's moved, moved to my friend's tank. Um, the anemone has moved like you saw before. And what I'm going to do moving forward, guys, I'm going to start buying LPS corals to stick on the aquascape and little mushrooms and softies to put around the base of the aquascape to um, take up real estate. Now, the first coral I purchased is this bad boy here. And I think this is a flower pot coral. If I'm wrong, guys, just leave it in the comments below. Let me know what this is. And this is early morning. Now, this is what it looks like at midday when it's fully open. And this coral is just gorgeous, guys. Yeah, it cost me about £25. And I tell you what, man, I'm really, really liking this coral. The next coral I've um, purchased as well is a mushroom or some sort of redactus mushroom or whatever kind of mushroom it is. Um, but yeah, this is going to start, you know, as, as it grows, take up real estate around the base of the aquascape to fill it up to create a, a better natural look. Uh, the next coral that did survive is one of the corals that I've kept is the uh, Micromucilodowensis or aka the Acan. Yeah, so this coral is still in there. Um, uh, in its feed mode so i'm gonna feed the tank um some phyto just to keep um things ticking along and feeding so i'm going to show you guys a picture of the tank what it looks like um midday so this is what it looks like midday and you can see that the two corals um with the most flow going here is the torch coral at the top and then my octo frog spawn both of these corals were on the sand bed previously but now the new aquascape yeah they've been mounted on there and hopefully they'll take up some of that space to create a natural looking reef now as you can see, this reef, this Pico is like, I think it's about 10, just under, just over 10 litres. Yeah, it's about 12 litres, I believe. And yeah, this thing is starting to come along. So this direction I'm taking is starting to make sense, guys. So wish me luck. Right, guys, this is Naran for HC Aquatics Reef. And don't forget to like, share, subscribe, guys. I'll keep you updated.